So I'm here with my Skylink SK200 starter kit. It was recently sent to me by Skylink. And it's an upgraded model of the home automation hub that I'm running here in the home. Uh, the difference being this system now utilizes the ability to have alarm triggers connected to it, such as door sensors, window sensors, uh, it even has a little key fob, it has motion sensors, pretty nifty stuff. Um, they've also made some major updates to the hub itself. Before you used to have to make firewall rules, uh, modify your home network in order to get this thing to communicate out to the internet. Uh, it's now bouncing off of their own servers, so it makes it much easier to get this thing connected up and running and, and uh, communicating without having to have any type of technical knowledge. But as usual, I'm here trying to get this thing working uh, in a more advanced way that it doesn't support out of the box. Um, but the next thing I wanted to really try was the Amazon Echo. So we got the Echo working with the Skylink Hub, the first edition. Uh, so now it was time to try and get it working with this edition. But to make matters even more interesting, um, we now have the ability to, to toggle our alarm system. We can put it in home mode, we can put it in away mode. We can disarm it, we can panic, uh, lots of things, all based off of voice, uh, in addition to controlling the lights. So, let's show a demo here. Uh, Alexa, launch Skylink Alarm. Welcome to your Skylink Smart Hub SK200. I can control it for you. What would you like me to do? You can say things like disarm alarm or activate home alarm. You can also control your lights or devices by saying things like toggle office light. Now, what can I do for you? Activate home alarm. I have activated your alarm in home mode as you requested. So she just put it in home mode. Um, and the alarm now will ignore motion, but it will get triggered by our lovely door sensors. Uh, if we come over here to the mobile app, I have it running on an Android emulator, we can see that the system's armed. Now, let's do an Alexa command and tell it to disarm. So let's move this over here so we can get a view of Alexa and the app and the hub all in one shot. Here we go. Alexa, launch Skylink Alarm. Welcome to your Skylink Smart Hub SK200. I can control it for you. What would you like me to do? Disarm Alarm. I have disabled your alarm system. Now obviously this is just a prototype. You would actually want to add some type of a security uh, password or something to uh, the voice command. Otherwise, anybody can walk up and tell Alexa to disarm your alarm system. Heck, they could probably do it from outside your house if they yell you loud enough. But uh, you know, this is definitely an interesting way to be able to control. We can also tell Alexa to go into away mode. So let's give that a shot. Alexa. Launch Skylink Alarm. Welcome to your Skylink Smart Hub SK2. Activate Away Alarm. I have activated your alarm in away mode as you requested. Please leave within 30 seconds or the alarm will sound. Alexa. Launch Skylink Alarm. Welcome to your Skylink Smart Hub S Disarm Alarm. I have disabled your alarm system. Now we can also put it in panic mode. This is gonna get loud, so let's let's do it though, because it's fun. Alexa, launch Skylink Alarm. Welcome to your Skylink Smart Hub SK200. Panic alarm. Has 
Now with the alarm activated, it's difficult for Alexa to understand your commands. So I just went ahead and deactivated it from my PC. But if you had an Alexa remote, you could actually deactivate it from another room utilizing the Alexa remote and she'll be able to hear you just fine. So let's just take a quick peek at the other controls. So we can definitely control lights with this hub. So it's, it's an all-in-one system. Uh, let's do the lights. Alexa, launch Skylink Alarm. Welcome to your Skylink Smart Hub SK200. I can control it for you. What would you like me to do? You can say things like disarm alarm or activate home alarm. You can also control your lights or devices by saying things like toggle office light. Now, what can I do for you? Toggle balloon light. I have toggled the balloon animal lamp. <clears throat> and there you have it. She turned it on. We can also tell her to turn it off. Alexa. Launch Skylink Alarm. Welcome to your Skylink Smart Hub SK200. I can control it for you. Toggle Balloon Light. I have toggled the balloon animal lamp. And there you can see her getting shut off. So let's just take a quick peek at our lovely alarm system dongles here. We have our door sensors, we have our motion sensors, and we have our uh, key fob that controls it. And essentially, uh, once we arm Alexa and one of these gets pulled away, she will ultimately wind up um, controlling the Skylink system, but the Skylink system will ultimately go off. So let's just give that a shot, and then uh, we can wrap this up. So, Alexa... Launch Skylink Alarm. Welcome to your Skylink Smart Hub SK2. Activate Home Alarm. I have activated your alarm in home mode as you requested. Alright, so we have it in home mode. So now, if I come over here to my door sensors and I just pull one of these away, it's going to go off. Here we go. So using the fob, we were able to reset the alarm system back to normal mode. And just putting that fob, that piece back on the sensor, it puts it back to normal. So you can see here that the system is, is relatively uh, user friendly. Uh, connecting it to Echo is very successful. You can control all the functionality uh, right through the Echo. And just give a little snippet of code, there's, there's a, quite a few lines of code here that programming this thing. but. It's all requests back and forth to the Skylink device to get it to communicate along with, um, you know, the Amazon Echo APIs and whatnot. So this was fun, um, and uh, I think I'm going to actually get this thing hooked up within the house now that I've gotten it working. Uh, we'll get ourselves an alarm system here. All right.